Swoop, there it is. Swoop, there it is. Swoop. What's up, Transformers fans? I'm Mondo, and welcome back to another Moonbase 84 transmission. And before we get into today's video, if I could ask you to hit that like button, subscribe, and all that jazz, it's free for you, but means the world to me, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, so now... I'm super excited because you clicked on the thumbnail because today's video is my review of the Studio Series 86 movie, Leader Class Swoop, which completes, as we all know, the Dinobot team. And I'm not going to lie, I'm geeking out extra harder today because the Dinobots are my favorite uh, faction for any Transformers team, and to be able to complete this set is awesome, and I've been waiting for this to come. This thing has been in processing limbo forever from BBTS, and they finally shipped it after like having it, having it processed for like almost two weeks. They finally shipped it, and then about almost a week later, I finally got it. So super excited. I know that some people are hating on this guy. I've messed around with him for a day and a half, two days now, and you know, I can see where they're coming from, but it doesn't bother me at all. I'm gonna get that out of the way. I'm just really happy to complete the team and to have a leader swoop in the studio series. So as you can see, I have him here perched, <laughs> which I think is cool that you can do. So he's not always in flight mode. I will say he looks a little funny. His head is huge. And a lot of complaints that I've been reading about and stuff are how boxy he is, but in the G1 cartoon, Hence the G186 movie, he was boxy. So I, you're not going to hear me complain about that. It is what it was supposed. To, he is what he's supposed to be, basically. I will say the head does look really big, though. <laughs> he looks kind of funny like this. Maybe because we're not used to seeing him like that. I like how you can fold his wings in a little bit. You can get more if you remove his guns. But we'll take a closer look, and then we'll get him in a proper flight mode. So there is his. Dino head sculpt, Tyranodon, looking really cool. Nice Autobot symbol. Some nice gold for the beak, nice blue for the eyes. You got the red crest. You've got <laughs> basically his robot torso all squished up. Again, that is not a complaint. That's the way he's supposed to be. One complaint I do have is this here. You can see the gap. On my copy, unfortunately, I cannot get that to peg in anymore and stay. It always wants to separate, so that is a bit of shame. You get some nice robotic detail and red there. By the time we go through this uh, Pteranodon mode, there's not going to be much to go over for details for robot mode. But <laughs> You can open his mouth if I can get my finger in there. And you can put a blast effect in there too if you want. And then you go down to his little feet which makes it possible for him to perch. And as I said, his wings are articulated enough so you can get them folded when he perches. But you can also get his head. Some of the joints on mine are really tight. So there you go like that. You get him in a proper flying mode. Just the feet in particular on my really stiff on that side. And there we go in flight so you'd have grimlock do swoop do flying stuff <laughs> and he can swoosh all around and stuff like that now i'm just having fun here is the top some nice black nicely detailed again everything is nicely detailed look at his wings how detailed that is with all this robotic armory tech nice autobot symbol there so i think he Came out really nice in dino mode. Boxy, yes, but as I said, that's what he was. So I do not have a complaint. So why don't I get this guy transformed up into robot mode and we will take a closer look at that. But quickly before I do, here's a comparison of Swoop with all the other Dinobots, the finally the complete team. And having him stacked up with the rest of the team, I will say that perhaps he is a bit too large I and we'll talk about that later as we progress in the review but here you can see to me yeah kind of big especially against sludge 
And here is the Studio Series 86 Transformers movie swoop, all transformed up into robot mode. And as you can see, looking very much like that character model. Looking really cool. Love the blue. Like I said, most of this <laughs> you already saw due to the design of swoop from the 86 movie and the G1 cartoon you have already seen in uh, Tranodon mode, but we'll take a closer look anyway. And there's his head sculpt. Looking kind of like with a grimace, but also a bit of distress in his face, I think. Which is kind of funny, but it is a really nice head sculpt. Of course, you've got his trademark crest on the head. And then in his chest, you have the rest of his uh, dino head. There are those details we saw <laughs> in dino mode, but still really cool. Um, because the legs are down now, you get... Um, for robot mode on the leg, some hits of this gold color and his little pteranodon feet <laughs> and his knees and some black, which was up on his back. But again, just take a closer look at all the nice robotic detail, which I, again, I'll say is really nice. All the Dinobots, in my opinion, for these uh, Studio Series Dinobots have been really, really good. And most people agree, I think. The back though, without his feet wrapped up onto his back is a little ugly, I will admit, admit, but at least they loaded up the sculpt with a ton of detail to kind of make it not as ugly sunken in. It's not too bad. Um, I did say it was ugly, but the more you look at it with the detail, it's not too, too bad. Um, you get some hollowness here and on the forearms, as we see a lot with the Dinobots. <laughs> Articulation, he articulates nicely. Nope. His head rotates, it's got some decent tilt, which always is nice for personality. He can look down a lot, especially. I wish he could look up more for uh, flight poses in robot mode, flying poses. And swivel on the arms, you go up that far. Uh, bicep swivel, 90 degree elbow, wrist, you do get a waist, um, not full range all the way around, but enough because crashes into his beak. <laughs> yeah, let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's do the spreads all the way. You get, where is it? Oh, it's tight. Thigh, I knew it was there. Thigh swivel. Knee, knee bend, which is excellent. It would go all the way if it wasn't for his wings because of the transformation. But I will say it gets kind of ugly. But well, again, they even put some details in there because they knew this would show. So that's really cool. Um, his feet will pivot back that far, but not forward. And you get a tilt, inward tilt. So nice transformation on this guy, or transformation, articulation on this guy as well. He can be a little top heavy because of the wings um, in certain stances. But you can also articulate the wings, of course. And set them up however you so choose. So you've been looking at two of his accessories during this whole review. Which are these mounted guns on his wings. And of course you can take them off and mount them in his hands. Like so. I said mount them in his hands like so. Maybe the wrist gets in the way, I don't know if it's tilted there there we go it's just a little tight and he also comes with two swords i think one is to give to one of the other dinobots much like the comic grimlock came with a bunch of extra swords to give uh let's see i forget which ones didn't come with swords sludge and slug <laughs> didn't come with swords so i think one is for swoop and one is for one of them and then the comic grimlock has two extras for either one i i think it's cool they gave these guys extra stuff to give to the dino bots that they didn't give it to even though they should have in the first place but that just leaves a conundrum because i wish they gave us one sword and one gun for poor snarl here with no gun <laughs> and of course that's simply Plugs into his fist as well. 
And here we have all of the Dinobots transformed up into their robot modes. And once again, just like their Dino modes, I think they look fantastic. It's great to have the team all together finally. So that is my review of the Transformers Studio Series Transformers 86 Movie Leader Class Swoop. Um, I'll say it again, just great to be able to finally complete that Dinobot team. I'll also say again, Dinobots are my favorite uh, faction in Transformers. I think he looks great. Um, definitely not going to take points away as some detractors do because of the simplicity of him because that is the design from the cartoon and the 86 movie i mean there's not much you can do about it that's the design they put forth the design and made it as best as they could under these circumstances and that sounds like i'm saying it's negative it's not it is the 86 movie design so i'm not going to take points away from it from for being basic is basically what I'm saying. Um, I think he looks great. I will say that I didn't know one of the legs on mine are strange because you, you can hear the soft ratchet. Where is it now? And then, oh, maybe, where is it? There's a point on mine in the legs somewhere where one sounds like a hard ratchet and one, see, look at how much difference the sound of that ratchet is compared to this ratchet. It is a little, like right there. It's It just doesn't, doesn't seem like it's hitting as much, or I don't know, hitting as much, I don't know what you wanna call it. Uh, but yeah, that's just one thing. Um, the only other detraction I have of it is I wish, Stan Swoop, is I wish that the, um, I can't get him to stand. Anyhow, I wish that um, this chest piece would uh, lock into place a little bit better in dino mode. But besides that, that's my only major gripe, main gripe. It's not even a major gripe. And also, one other thing is I do think that maybe for this go around with Swoop, maybe they should have made him a voyager because he does seem a little bit too big in comparison in scale wise with the other dinobots i don't hate that he's a leader but i think maybe they should have scaled him down in for scale wise and maybe if they wanted to do leader i hate when they do this just like include a bunch of extra stuff a, a weapon a gun for snarl maybe a couple more of those swords in case you don't get the comic book grimlock maybe some blast effects and that way they could have still charged the leader price i guess but yeah besides that no issues at all i love this swoop as i love the rest of the dinobots with that being said comment to let me know what you think of him and as always thanks for docking